Hey everybody, my name's Kevin. I'm a solution architect at Core Media, and welcome to this next video demonstrating Core Media's Content Cloud's power of content management in tandem with an integration into Salesforce B2C. To recap our previous videos, we captured some of the highlights from our browser-based, user-friendly interface, the Core Media Studio. From there, we use Core Media's direct asset management capabilities to create a brand new banner on the fly. While picture is worth a thousand words, there's nothing more compelling than being able to organize those words into a story, especially that an overwhelming majority of consumers now shop online. Being able to effectively tie your stories to your images and branding, weave your products through your paragraphs, and link that to your most up-to-date content located on your blog is the 21st century expectation of the modern day e-shopper. To perform this consistently, accurately, and effectively, on an enterprise scale is a monumental task. Don't worry though, Core Media is here to help. Let's start by taking a regular editorial document from outside of Core Media and show you how we can transform this into a digital story. Let's open our document called The Difference Between Style and Fashion. We have a great piece of literature here around the details on the latest fashion, even including an embedded image in the Word document. Looking at further details of this document, we can see that this has been written by one of our most prominent blog authors already in the Core Media system, Charlotte May. To get this document into Core Media, we can use the Create menu, conveniently located in the header toolbar of the Core Media Studio. Opening this dropdown, we can select the option to upload files. From this dialog, we can drag and drop our content into the editor. Let's update the folder location again here and go ahead with the upload. For all jobs running in Core Media, our active jobs window notification allows us to continue our work asynchronously and notifies us when the job is done. For a Word document upload, this is actually pretty quick. Opening the document in a separate tab, we can see that there's a lot of things already taken care of by Core Media. The document title, text, and even the image are all preserved, and all the different layout variants of how this article could render are easily viewable through the Studio Preview. Even the author from the metadata of the Word document has been automatically added as she was an author already in the Core Media system. All that said, it looks like they're just a few things off. That article image doesn't look right in some of these layout variants. But through the Studio Preview, we can right-click the image and open this in a separate tab with the Studio Editor. It looks like this image was automatically added as a completely new content item when we uploaded the document, and that's pretty sweet because with that, we can open this picture and make all kinds of changes. In our last video, we highlighted several of the direct asset management features Core Media comes with out of the box. In the same way, we can flip, update the focal points for its croppings, even update the metadata of the image itself as well. Now that we've made our changes, we can check in this document since we are done editing it and go back to our new article and see that in fact, our image croppings have been changed correctly in all of our different layout variants. However, there's still more to do here. Looking at the layout variants for this article, some of the teaser renderings or the templates that are used to just grab attention seem a bit too wordy. If we're going to get clicks on this article, we gotta make our message simpler. Thankfully, Core Media provides us with the option to update the teaser title and text separately from the main title and text. Ah, fashion is made to become unfashionable. That is much more catchy. While we're here, let's change the style of the call to action button. There's a variety of different styles here, but other predefined configurations can be added to meet your style's color and branding needs. Through our intuitive UI and real-time updates, we can really play around with this. As for the article itself, in general, it looks pretty good. All of the text is there, it's formatted, and generally seems acceptable. But with Core Media, the idea is to make our site a digital, fluid experience, and a part of that is linking content and giving it full context of its importance within the greater site. In our rich text editor, not only can we update the text, but also directly drag and link embedded content, such as products from our Salesforce catalog, directly within the text itself. Reiterating on that purpose of storytelling, this is the kind of content that drives up sales, increases shopping carts, and is really the next step in the evolution of selling in a digital world. Have you ever Googled how to repair a bike chain, or tie a tie, or in this case, what the latest trends are in fashion? Consumption is driven by need, and by weaving your content through products, it allows your customers to understand how to fill that need and buy products on a single page with a single click. 
And speaking of Google, we can directly update our article metadata to improve many things, such as our URL segment or HTML properties to improve our search engine optimization. However, even more important than that, we can classify our new page with a variety of different tags. Out of the box, Core Media comes with a complete taxonomy hierarchy, all manageable and configurable directly through the studio for users with proper access rights. Back to our work, we can define which tags our article represents. Core Media provides us with suggestions for which tags are appropriate, or we can add any tags that we want manually. Because this article is talking about the latest in fashion, perhaps breaking news seems appropriate. The importance of adding tags to content is relevant because then it enables us to, for example, find related content. Core Media's Feedback Hub, like the Content Hub, is another endpoint which allows deep integration into third-party systems. The Feedback Hub allows us to use the information about the content to augment and improve it. In this case, we'll use the recently added tags to find any related content items. From here, we can add them directly to the article and see the preview reflect these changes all in real time. And this is just another great demonstration of the Core Media experience, encouraging me to have good content management practices and rewarding me with being able to leverage easy to use interfaces to manage my content. Another example of having content properly tagged is leveraging Core Media's dynamic list functionality. In Core Media, you have the power to create lists of content that can be filled with explicitly defined content or populated by a set of rules. Coming back to the home page, we can see that our article now comes across the top of the page under the breaking news banner, as it's been tagged with the breaking news taxonomy. Dynamic lists can populate content on a variety of different rules, more than just content tags. Any property can be queried, such as creation dates and even article authors. Because Charlotte, one of our major site bloggers, is the author of this article, we can see our article populate directly into our site's blog. Incredible. In just a matter of minutes, we've taken some text from a Word document and have now made it one of the main stories of our site. However, for those of you looking to manage a global brand, sometimes a story is so big that it needs to be shared across the world. Core Media has got your back here as well. Out of the box, Core Media comes with a mature translation workflow system that in an e-commerce business is about as easy as it gets. For this, Core Media Studio provides the control room. By opening the control room, we can get a greater consolidated view of our edited content at large, as well as any active workflows which we've been assigned. Let's open the My Edited Content to get a greater look at the new and modified content we've been working on for our new article. Like publication workflows, localizations in Core Media remove the burden from the editor. It allows them to configure exactly what kind of localization, either translation or synchronization, the content being localized, and even the due date. All localized sites in Core Media are derived from a parent. In this case, that would be the English United Kingdom localized site. For translating from a master site, localization workflows are completely configurable as Core Media's open API framework can work with whatever translation provider you choose or even currently use. Once started, the translation workflow sends all of the content to the translation provider and when completed, is sent back into Core Media System, notifying the locale site admins when it's ready to review. For clarity and usability, Core Media provides a precise side-by-side -side menu showing what's changed with the localization and how the translation pairs up with the parent site text and even provides a preview of the content of the new translation. From here, the editor can accept the updates directly from the control room. As a quick summary, we've taken a story completely written in a Word document, uploaded it to Core Media, use smart content management capabilities to give the story a place in our site, and even translate it into a new language. All this done in a single video. We've nearly gone through the entire process of content development, all done through Core Media's studio interface. And that's the advantage you can harness with Core Media. Because it's not just about rapid content development, but about staying relevant in the digital world. And that is moving at the speed of culture.